Hello watchers of YouTube Today I would like to share with you this tutorial about uh, cloning or uh, copying a database I will show you how to copy the structure and the population of an existing database I'm using actually uh, my SQL Workbench 6.3 I will launch it and here we have I have in my SQL connection I have an instance of a connection called app con double click and here we have the databases I'll show you how to clone or copy for example the applicant uh, database called applicant this database has one two three four tables and these are actually populated with data customer order order product and product they are it's not it's not a big database but actually what is applied on a small database is also applied on a big database with tens of tables and thousands of records what I will do is <coughs> use the wizard data import uh, data export then I will click on applicant then it will export to a dumb project folder which is on the C drive in users and in this folder dump 2016 103 yeah then we click on the start export then we have here mysql down version mismatch but uh, anyway continue anyway password if you have a password type in the password if you don't have a password click ok now as we can see the export is completed then we go to computer local disk users the current user then my documents then dump then this is the one here we have one two three four databases uh, sorry one two three four files with the extension SQL uh, so they have been exported if you open them to edit we'll see the the data concerning the structure and the population of the database uh, we go back to my SQL workbench and here we have uh, we close this tab which is administration data export we close it and we close this table customer customer then we will create an empty database or schema here we have this uh, button create a new schema in the connected server click then you give a name to the database let's say applicant new applicant 
new and remember this remember this uh, name of the database because you will s use it uh, later in the SQL uh, files you have saved then apply apply changes to object yes create here we have the SQL statement create schema applicant new apply finish here we have the new database which is empty now it doesn't have any tables and the, and nothing of records and data uh, we go back to the down file we open each one to edit and we will go database we will search find applicant find find actually as we can see here the name of the database applicant we will change the name of the database in the four files SQL text file applicant to make it new save the second one edit applicant new save edit applicant new save edit new now as we have saved all of these uh, files we go back to MySQL workbench then in the navigator we choose data import and restore in import from disk import from dumb project folder we go to the folder we have created which is in dump file then this one here we can see the name of the database applicant new then we click start import here it is importing all the tables it's uh, the structures the structure of each table and the population of each table now import completed we close this tab then we close this tab applicant new schema then we go to schemas which are the databases here we have the new database we have created and here we have all the tables customer order order product and product and if we click right click and select rows as we can see all of them here with the records the columns as well as order also populated as well as here order product and product so actually because I'm working on uh, uh, one database and uh, I'm using this database in two different applications one is web-based application and the other one is stand alone application or disk desktop application that's why I need this database to have two copies and I've been searching the web for a solution for this and I couldn't find a straight solution and for me I found this um, maneuvering a good solution for it uh, thank you for watching and uh, till the next time